Let's look at the X and the Y axis. These axes are used to recognize a point on one plane. One single plane. This plane is called the Cartesian plane. As we can see, the Cartesian plane is divided into four parts or regions. This one, this one, this one and this one. Each of them is called a quadrant. The quadrants are named in a particular order which we have to strictly follow. This region is the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, as we can see, the X as well as the Y coordinates are positive. Moving in the anti-clockwise direction, we name this quadrant the second quadrant. In this quadrant, the X coordinates are negative while the Y coordinates are positive. So remember, for the first two quadrants, the Y coordinates are positive. Moving in the anti-clockwise direction, this is the third quadrant where the X as well as the Y values are negative. This region is the fourth quadrant. The X coordinates are positive and the Y coordinates are negative. Does that mean that every point on the plane will lie in any one of the quadrants? Let's mark a few points on the plane and see which quadrants they lie in. Let's assume I mark point A here. This point lies in the second quadrant. So we write A2 here. Point A lies in the second quadrant. Let's assume I mark point B here. This point is in the first quadrant. We write B first here. Point C is marked here as it lies in the third quadrant. We write C 3. And this is point D. It is in the fourth quadrant. Now let's look at something interesting. What about this point E? Which quadrant does it lie in? First quadrant or the second one? We say that point E lies on the Y axis. What about point F here? Yes, point F lies on the X axis. What does this tell us? It means that each point on a plane lies either on one of the axes or in one of the quadrants.